Well, welcome back, YouTube. That's how the last one ended. We discovered that Big Mom Face uh, ignores nine lives, even though it tells me I still had it. But we know now I can just take the normal route to get to the other boss, so we're going to do that. Because the new floors suck. Also, they sucked in Anti-Birth as well, but at least they were new back then. The new enemies added are worse than the Anti-Birth defaults. And we, oh, tough love is fine. Does that give you stat increases? No, just the teeth. And we had been discussing an old favourite topic last time of uncontrollable anxiety attacks and whatnot. You know, all the, all the really entertaining stuff that I'm sure people love hearing about and definitely doesn't creep them out and make them leave. Talking about it can help, though. Sometimes, like, for people who don't understand how it is, it can be really awkward, though. Like, obviously, my mother knows. And she knew it was, like, the first time I was leaving the house for a long time, for, for a year and a bit or whatever. So as soon as I got into the car, till the very point we drove to where I was getting the Jag, which is, like, 20 minutes away from, from here, by car, she didn't stop talking for a second. She was just, anything that came to mind, any question she had, any observation, anything just in general, and I think that's what she thought was helping. And sometimes it can, because distraction works, but distraction, if you know you're trying to distract yourself, it makes it worse. Honestly, I was just playing Pokemon Go on my phone, for the most part. It, I guess it can kind of help. Like sometimes if you are feeling anxious though and like Sora wants attention or or thinks I'm standing up and pacing because I want to play, it's like it's, you get assaulted by sensations and input, it can sometimes be a bit too much. So you're like, no, I don't wanna I don't wanna play with you right now, just like give me give me half an hour to settle down and then I'll play with you. But obviously she's a dog, so she doesn't understand that. Actually, the way Magpie described it is how it feels, and again, that it sounds so ludicrous that for anyone who's never experienced it, they won't understand. Like, they'll probably understand being anxious about a test, being anxious about something tangible, like the dentist or whatever. But the stuff that's really scary is when, for absolutely no reason, you feel like you're dying. Like, just suddenly, for absolutely no reason, you think something horrible is happening or about to happen. That's what's scary, because you can't, you can't just instantly think, oh well, I'm just, I'm just anxious because there's a test tomorrow. That's okay. Maybe like some people like that anxious energy because they can channel it into like prepping for a test, or like singers often get nervous before performing on stage, and some of them channel that to do a better show. And I envy those people who know how to master that talent. Hey, that was a Bumble toy. You can't rationalise it if it's not rational, yes. And for all the things you can try and learn to cope with it when it's not happening, it's still very hard to handle when it happens. If I'm at home and it happens, what I usually do, because I, I get very, very sore stomach pain when I get anxiety attacks because of the IBS. I'll make myself a peppermint tea, and I, I hate peppermint tea for the record. I'll usually just hold it against my stomach and sip maybe like a third of it. Or do that, uh, like there's a, there's a, I don't know if technique is the right word. There's a thing you can do called tense and release where you, you trick your body into doing something that it naturally does when it thinks you're, like, after you've finished exercising, it kind of releases endorphins, is that the right word? So if you do, like, tense and release, you, like, you really, really hold your arm muscles or your leg muscles as, as, what the, why'd the door open? 
you hold your arm or leg muscles really tightly as long as possible and then kind of release them and relax for a second and that tricks your body into triggering a calm response. I've had I've had an okay amount of success with that. An okay amount, I would say. Again, in the moment it's hard, but sometimes if you feel it coming on, that can help. Sometimes you feel like everything's moving too fast. Yeah, that's when you feel like your senses are being assaulted, which is a, a side effect, yeah. Like, say I'm on my phone and I start feeling anxious. Maybe I've got a YouTube video playing. Maybe Sora is, like, being hyperactive. I've got to shut off the video, shut off the phone. I've just... I want, like, no stimulus. Stimuli? Stimuli? And the worst part is, like, it, it's... A sign of the times. Because before all this COVID stuff happened, it was not nearly as bad. But if you spend a great deal of your time imagining all these not real things that could be wrong and then something that is real comes along that is threatening, it's like, oh, see, told you. I haven't had much success with it, but the nurse suggested to me that, like, if you imagine your anxious thoughts to have a silly voice, it can sometimes help. Like, imagine the anxious thought being read in, like, Scooby-Doo's voice, or was the exact example she gave? I can't do a good Scooby-Doo voice, but... I, I was honestly... What was the name of the the Green Walrus in Bugsnax that talked like a surfer bro? I've been trying to imagine it in that voice, and I find it quite funny. I haven't had much success yet, but... I'm trying to imagine it in that, like, surfer dude voice, like... Bro... Bro, you're dying, bro. I'm gonna lift your your head and smash it into the ground, bro. I feel like that might help in the long run with a little bit of practice. Make your anxiety sound stupid. Yes, also lifting houses. Chat Chen Chanlo? Imagine it in Bunger's voice? No, Bunger is the national treasure. I would never sully him by making him be that. He has a... Mm, that is depression, which is not good in general. Neither is that. Uh, oh, I lifted my arm there. Now I'm actually quite sore. I took some more paracetamol before the stream, so I'm surprised at that. Uh, I mean... It's probably not a reroll. There wasn't a battery in the shop, I don't think. We'll just take Midas Touch, get some gold if we get hit by close combat. <clears throat> there are too many bad items in this game, yes. Who is Adrian Monk? I mean, I've, I've been playing Euro Truck Simulator, which involves moving fingers. From the show, Monk? Oh! I don't remember... I mean, I remember it existing, I don't remember ever watching it. Well, I'm moving my shoulder now. Oh, he was the de private detective with OCD. I was more a Columbo person when it came to, like, whatever detective show. Alright, yeah, we killed you. Gotta remember, just going normal route. It shouldn't be as hard as it apparently is so far. Which is the best and worst item in this game? I don't know, because I haven't seen all the rebalances. Unless they've massively changed it, Breath of Life is probably the worst still. Um, the one that makes you invincible for like half a frame every five seconds is pretty bad. The one Ed Lee uh, created for Re Afterbirth Plus where it just makes your bomb lay faster is pretty much proof of his devoid of creativity setting in. Oh. 
I just want the damage. Pure Folk was lovely. They brought back Columbo when he was like an old man. I remember seeing it and just not liking it. Like seeing it with like digital cameras and him being grey. Because he always seemed old in the series, but I don't think he was that old when he filmed it. The original series. He just had one of those faces that kind of perpetually looked 40. Or 50. Oh, I do have one last story from my, my trip to get vaccinated today. I heard two of the nurses over like overheard them talking. And their opinion on uh, the English government's strategy of ah, just let it ride. And they did not have any complimentary things to say. Surprise, surprise. Because they're on the bloody front lines. Crying Jags? Ah, so you're getting, uh, what is it called, anticipatory anxiety because you think something's going to happen? That's how I was prior to getting the Jag. Although honestly, crying seems like a good like a good way to get the built-up frustration out. Not in that situation. Uh, wiggle worm, let me test this. Hmm, it is a shot speed up. Hello, Froglar. Well, I would like that, but what can you do? Hmm. Why wasn't that other one firing at a beam? Ah, oh, I see. I understand what you mean now. I have no idea how I would counter that. Is that actually what they're called as well? It's the first time I've heard the word jag not used for, like, the Scottish word for injection or jaguar. The animal slash car. Uh, run bag, run bag, run bag. <clears throat> That's the pimple or whatever, yeah. Well, at least it does slow. Regular route, yeah. There's fake vaccination cards. We don't have cards up here. Like, I didn't get... Well, I got given a leaflet about what I got jagged with. But it's just on their records. Like, I don't have a card with me or anything. I don't remember what the welder mask is. I also don't think the run's good enough to warrant taking money out. Let's see how this floor goes. I don't know what that is, Frogler. Uh, let's 
see then here. <clears throat> Well, we accidentally went and cleared the whole floor. Carrying Queen. Oh, but slowed. That could be okay. So I think after. Well, not necessarily after this run, because I don't think this run's going to last much longer. But I think we might just, like, chill with a little bit of Euro Truck Simulator after this episode. I've got seven bombs, I really should be. Also there's a tin of rock in here. <clears throat> Maintain that 115% or is that 11? That's 11. It's not like I plan to go anywhere anyway. Huzzah! <clears throat> A rage and lusty blood, damn it. Both really, really good. Really good. This time, no. Oh, that's good too. Two syringes towards spawn, unless they've nerfed spawn. Well, two towards it regardless. Snowrunner is the tow truck one, right? I kind of like just like the peaceful nature of your truck though. Like, I, I was getting late with a delivery yesterday, and for some reason it started playing this pretty awesome chip tune music. I was like, I don't care that I'm late, I like listening to this. When did they add all this music to the game? <clears throat> Didn't that make stuff? Oh, they do lose yearly though, don't they? I was about to say, didn't they come out with that like a year ago, but... Yeah. <clears throat> Eurotalk is a great game. It's added so much more areas since I last played it. It's still coming out with more as well. much else. Who you don't see as many of those bat enemies anymore. Is there an Amazon Prime DLC? Uh, I don't believe so. I might be wrong. I didn't look at all the paint jobs. I just wanted the areas. I just sold in one big pack for the record. It was like 70% off in the Steam sale. Are you kidding me? Fingers crossed for a good item. Or failing that, a syringe. Mm. Dead's key and decoy, whatever it's called. Not great. Ugh.
Hmm. I'd say I treated myself to a pizza for dinner today as well. That capped off the, the stressful day. But also made me more dehydrated. That's why I'm chugging water. Indeed, pizza no indeed. I got my, my favourite, the cheeseburger one. I only eat half of it though, I always I save the rest for lunch the next day. Cheeseburger pizza, yeah. In Google type in Domino's cheeseburger pizza and you'll find it. Incidentally, I don't think Domino's do particularly good pizza, but I like that one a lot. Way too much salt, that's hence the dehydration. Had the item room, not had the shop. Mm. You have peppers, red onion and pineapple? It's basically a sweet and sour sauce without the sauce. What are the chances this is a bad pill? Well, it took my HP, so... Could have been better. I found a good angle to sit at to stop my back hurting so much. Well, I'm kind of slouching to one side, like I'm trying to dodge an oncoming projectile. If I was playing Phantom Abyss, it'd knock my jumping accuracy to shit. Thankfully, you don't need coordination to drive a car, or a truck, as I understand it. Ooh, barbecue chicken sounds nice. Oh, I tried pulled pork Pringles. They smell like sugar. They tasted okay. That's the crappy PhD that makes bad pills give you good stuff. Oh yeah, if you're in the UK and ever try that cheeseburger pizza, for the love of God, never ask for more burger sauce, even though it's delicious, because I did it once. And what they do if the if you ask for extra burger sauce is they literally coat the entire thing in a thick layer of it such that you can't see any other topping. Which might sound nice, it, it was not nice. Not so nice. Well, if you've tried the sauce, you might just you might be under the illusion, because the sauce isn't really really nice. I'd love us just a, a bottle of that. They probably buy it wholesale from somewhere, right? A sloppy mess is how I would describe. But also, whatever spices are in that sauce, it can kind of catch at the back of your throat as well. So if it's coated in it, it kind of takes away the niceness. But they do just in the right amount on the normal pizza, I would say. Oh, would I love that hangman card 
three floors ago? Wait, is this the mom floor? No. Okay. Chat, I refuse to believe that you have to have randomly found a teleport card to be able to do this shit. Is there, like, a mechanic I'm missing, or... Like, is there a way to guarantee a teleport out of the mom fight that I've just not seen? That is a question, yes. There is a way on the floor. Am I... Am I likely to discover it, or is it something that's just better to tell me? I didn't have as many bombs as I thought I did. Okay, I appear to have just been given the answer rather than any vague hint. I'm not entirely... well, I guess I can't ask for that. There is a tinted skull. Which presumably when blown up guarantees a payout. If I had to guess what you, what you mean. Did I turn my tears into bones? Yeah. That's good. Although it only gives you a range up now? Didn't that used to give you damage as well? No bombs. It did? How the fuck did they nerf that? Edmund, you hack. Or the sh twats that work for Nicholas. I'm too tired to bother being polite to you. See, I think, let's give Ed the, the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he sent a note to Nicholas that said, no comma, more damage. And then Nicholas took away the comma because they don't understand what punctuation is. And they thought he meant no more damage. Son of a bitch. All that for a... nothing. T You'll rue this day. And then I'll be driving in my truck and not giving a shit. I have managed to capsize my truck three times. I also don't know how to drive. I was making a House of M reference, yes. I too am a nerd. Speaking of which, I'm really looking forward to recording more of the Resident Evil 3 miniature. That was the plan for today, but obviously something else came up, so... Probably doing that tomorrow. Get out of jail free card. Hmm... I think that lets you into boss rush so we can steal an item before we... Well, what am I talking about? We're going to die on this floor, but still. If I hadn't, or won't... And don't worry, neither do most of the truck drivers I know. That's not reassuring. BFF would be good if we had, like, followers. Luck up. There we are. Joke's on you, I fire squint. Oh, I didn't get around to watching uh, P.D. Weekstraw, the Devil's Son-in-Law. So that's going to have to wait again. Honestly, I just want to re-watch Spookies and Gedevin again. If I'm feeling rough tomorrow, that's probably what I'll do instead of recording. There's plenty of videos done for YouTube too, though. There's no danger from no videos. I don't remember precisely what's tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, but there's a video on each of those days already done. 
Sister V. We're doing no damage. Ooh, I like the new sound effect for that. But we did actually live. Krampus. I had a feeling in my bones. My one solid bone that goes up my body. And comes out my nose. As is my understanding of anatomy. Has a damage up. I don't remember Fear Shell only being a 0.97, although maybe it's a percentage. Tell the sound of emails as we transcend floors. <clears throat> oh, I missed a text from my mother. Give me a second to reply to it. She's checking I'm still taking paracetamol. Oh, Jack, can you still hear me? It says stream disconnected. Oh no, it's reconnecting. My mother's text message destroyed my stream. Still there, Twitch started having issues, I think. Let me just make sure I actually still have internet connection. Oh, I don't. My router restarted. I guess. Well, YouTube, it's just you and me for a second here. I'll go to my hub. Oh, I can't connect it. Yeah, it looks like it actually crashed and is restarting. That would certainly explain it. Well, we'll be back in a second. Uh, I don't really want to stop the recording because then I'd have to connect two videos to be one run. I wonder if it's the weather. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been raining, but it's not particularly bad out there. Not connected, no connections are available. Troubleshoot. Because as we all know, pressing the troubleshoot button works wonders. Well, actually, I could keep playing the run while my internet is rebooting. Plug an Ethernet cable in. No, no, there's already an Ethernet cable. Yeah, it's going to take my router a minute, so let's surprise chat by clearing a few rooms while it reconnects. Although, actually, I should probably tweet just in case they, they worry something happened. So let me do that real quick. Uh, router restarted. No, not Roy Try. The hell is Roy? Router restarted. Will hopefully be back in a few minutes. There we go, tweet was sent. Still can't actually get into my hub. Hmm. Hopefully this isn't another chapter of my internet just dying for a while. I certainly wouldn't have seen that coming. The real question is if the stream comes back, do I lie and say I never noticed? When they see that I've cleared some rooms? My goodness, the local uh, recording didn't stop. Because the run almost has legs. 
Almost. We've got okay damage for the floor we're on. Didn't have to do any of the new floors. And somewhere on this floor is a hidden tinted skull I need to find. Which would have been a hell of a lot easier if I had a bunch of eyes in chat telling me, oh, it's over there. None of these skulls look... Well, is that like a special X? No, no, that's just a mark. Oh, I wonder if it means a tiny skull on the floor like those. No, because the blood just covered that one. Still not coming back, huh? We're having problems finding that site, the site being Google. Hang on a second. But apparently my phone has Wi-Fi. Maybe my local router died? As if so, that's a hell of a lot worse. Hmm. Show available networks. It might not actually be loading. Oh no, yeah, it is loading. I am getting Wi-Fi. Or maybe the Wi-Fi comes back on first. I can't quite see my... I, like, I've got a little router next to the PC here so that all the consoles and... The PC is all in together. Honestly, this, this is what my old YouTube videos used to be like. Uh, let's see. I can't see it from here either. Great. I was watching someone go slowly mad. I'm trying one last thing real quick. Okay, IP config didn't help either. Because if it's not the actual rarer, that means it's not just going to fix itself. Hmm. Even have a map, so I don't remember which way I've been. Well, actually, I can stop this run midway, as in, like, go back to menu. I suppose. I'm, I'm not as sure now. It's oh, that's really good. I'm not sure if I have to finish the floor first, though. I think I do, because otherwise I'll have to do the floor again. There's the mom fight, but I didn't find the teleporter. I guess the get out of jail free card might open the door out, but I don't want to risk it because I'm not sure. I want to find this so-called tinted skull. Mm, there's a tinted rock. And it's not worth it. Lots of skulls in here. Uh, they all don't look like they have any kind of marking on them, unless it's random chance, maybe? We are doing a lot more damage now, Jesus. Jacob's ladder is so good. Tinted skull? They look normal to me. But I also don't know 100% what I'm looking for. Oh, wait, there's a little X on this one. It, it, it's got to be this one, right? Well, paid out with a card. That's the one. I don't remember if I've had my room or shop on this floor. And no map does not help with all the technical troubles I've been trying to solve at the same time. I don't want to leave my chat hanging. I'm, I'm sure most of them 
the randoms have already left, unfortunately. But I want to try and find my way back to the boss. Hopefully kill mom. Go down to the mausoleum via that door. And then we'll pause the run and pick it up next time. We'll probably end up dying because of our HP, is my guess. But that'll be part of a new video, trying more runs of getting Isaac to that new boss. Nearly. God damn it. Would have loved to have that spirit heart still. No. Oh, take it very carefully. The fool. Okay. Well, I apologise for the very strange video, but we'll hopefully remember to pick up this run next time. <laughs>